I know this is a big week for some of you. Taylor, Andrew, Cece, I know you all have important auditions coming up. So I thought I'd just touch on something for each of you to keep in mind. Every actor employs his own unique superstitions before an audition, myself included. Everyone tries to create his own good luck. But the best luck is confidence. You got that. Hell, even if you fake that, you won't need to rub your head three times and spin around before you walk on stage. God, what are you doing? Parker, you scared me. More like you scared me. Hello, closet OCD. Didn't notice that behavior before. What? Oh, oh, that? No, 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 no. I, I have a, a big audition tomorrow, and I was practicing my monologue, and well, there's this thing that I do to gear up for a big performance. Mm. If choreographing the Macarena part do is your little thing, I'm glad I have you back here instead of out front with the customers. It's a good luck ritual, Parker, a superstition. Well, you go back to your thing. Just wanted to ask you to bring some cable knit v-necks out and put them on the table up front. Will do. Thanks, hon. Let's move this page up front, make these edits, and I think we're good. Nothing else to fix? I know, there have been a lot of changes, but these should be the final edits. I can't believe it. You've been working on this for weeks, and now it's almost here. Are you ready for the big presentation on Friday? I think so. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Just have to get past that little intimidation issue. You so need to get over that. I know, but I can't help it sometimes. I walk into this giant boardroom, there's all these senior executives with all these years of experience staring at me and assessing my every word and gesture. It's... it's nerve-wracking. Isn't that acting class helping? It is, but sometimes I freeze and forget some of the stuff that I learned when I'm out of the classroom and in this environment. Oh, so you need something that reminds you to be confident when you're here and the pressure's on. Please don't tell me to try to imagine the audience in their underwear because I've done that and it doesn't work. Also, it's fairly disturbing. Underwear, hey, that reminds me of this article I read recently about success for women at work. Yeah, it had this really interesting idea about giving yourself a confidence boost. Jenny, what are you doing? No, really, they interviewed all of these high-powered career women who said it worked for them. And what it was, was you get this extremely sexy underwear and you wear it to all of your big meetings. What? Yeah, it was all about how when you wear sexy lingerie, you feel powerful. Plus, it's like you've got this little secret from everybody else in the room, so you feel even more powered and therefore more confident. Really? W where did you read about this? I don't know. Some business guide for women, maybe in the journal. I guess it could work. The vacant leaves my mind's imprints will bear, and of this book, thy beauty, that thy beauty, this learning mayst thou taste. Okay. The wrinkles which thy glass will truly show. Cecilia Sullivan. That, that's me, here. Come on, Cecilia, you're up. Thank you. Jenny, could you come here, please? Close the door. Hi, okay. I've got all 12 color copies printed plus two extra. The conference room computer is on PowerPoint and all you have to do is maximize the file at the bottom and put it in slideshow and I think that's it. We're all set. Thank you so much for everything, Jenny. I'm feeling really good about it, Owen. Look, check this out. You did it! <laughs> I went to La Perla. I should be driving it instead of wearing it for what it costs, but I mean, 
That is so beautiful. And I figure if this works, it'll be well worth the investment. That's awesome, Vivian. Just go in and get them. I will, thanks. Okay, you have five minutes left. I'm sure you'll do great. Do you need anything else from me? No, we're good. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom, haven't had a chance to go all morning. Thanks, though. Oh, <clears throat> cute bracelet. Oh, thanks. It's my good luck charm bracelet. Between this and my lingerie. I can't lose. Bathroom. What are you doing? You're presenting in two minutes. Yeah, I know. Look. What did you do? What did I do? This is your ridiculous idea. What? I told you to wear it, not get tangled up. Just help it. me get my arm out. I may have to cut it. My hundred and fifty dollar teddy. Brilliant. What stupid business guy told you about this idea anyway? I don't remember. Maybe it was Cosmo. <sighs> Jenny, get the scissors. Now. <sighs> don't look. Just try to take a deep breath. You know what? I don't care. I am so annoyed right now. I don't even have the energy to be intimidated. So, see, it works. Fabulous, totally crushed it. Thank you very much. Forget about a lame bank meeting. How was your audition? I don't know. At first I thought I killed it, but then I didn't get much of a response from the director. It could just mean he was sure he liked you and didn't need to see more. Or it could mean that he knew instantly I wasn't right for the part. Uh, it's so hard to tell. It's like trying to decode guys after a date. Does it mean he likes me or doesn't like me? This time I am sure that they like me. Cece, I tell you, I feel so great. I feel empowered. Just what you need, a power trip. I am on such a high right now, Dash, I don't even care what you say. That's great, Viv. I'm glad one of us is secure in her performance. I wish I could be as confident. Hmm, perhaps I should have shared my little good luck secret with you. I have a good luck secret. I did the same good luck ritual that I've done before every great audition, but it just didn't seem to work today. Maybe I inadvertently skipped a step. Or I wore brown boots today. That could be it. Either way, my confidence was not where it should have been. Nope. This one's better. Did you eat some little bunnies or throw rocks at a kitten beforehand to rev up your mean factor? No, but I broke into a not-so-random apartment on Beacon Hill to practice my fast pitch on some very expensive stereo equipment. Oh, was it your lucky charm bracelet? No, not that. Jenny gave me this little tip that I never thought would work, but it did. Turns out you can buy confidence at La Perla. That fancy lingerie place by the Four Seasons? <laughs> yep. Wearing it now. Oh. Just lost my appetite. Good. Empowerment makes me hungry. You girls are nuts. I have to have my bracelet and underwear. I have to do the chicken dance and wear the right shoes before I speak. Luck is for losers. Make up your own luck. That's what I say. You don't need a crutch to lean on. Really? Yeah, really. So you never do anything to try to impact your luck? Nope, don't need to. Okay, Mr. Confidence, see that hot little brunette over there? The one you've been eyeing for weeks every time she walks in the door. Why don't you go and ask her out? Why? 
You seem to have no problem with confidence, no fears or concerns about putting yourself out there. I think you should show us how it's done. Yeah, give us a little lesson. Okay, no problem. Give me a real challenge, ladies. Oh, whoa, 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 not so fast. What? The jacket, we you can just leave that here. What? Why? Well, it's not particularly cold in here. Why do you need it? I don't need it. I want it. For what? You wouldn't want your favorite jacket because, I don't know, because it gives you confidence? Ah! You guys are delusional. What are you talking about? You give us such a hard time for doing things to give us confidence when you were the exact same way. You would never go anywhere important without that jacket, least of all towards some strange girl you want to ask out. You know what? Just forget it. Admit it, Desh. Everybody tries to affect their luck, even you. George Clooney once said that when he was starting out, he wasn't getting callbacks to any of his auditions. He realized that he needed to walk into auditions with more confidence, with the feeling that he was the solution to their problems and that he was what they needed. Once he did that, things started to change for him. So yes, many actors employ their own unique superstitions before a big audition, but the best luck is confidence. You got that, hell, even if you fake that, you won't need to rub your head three times and spin around before you walk on stage. Oh, 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 I'm gonna...